Good morning, everybody. I hope you all well. As you saw on my last episode, I have harvested all the seeds on succulent and cacti. Now, after about a week, I'm examining to see which one is dry to be packaged and which one is still uh, wet and has to sit for a while to dry out. I'm going to show you the differences. For example, here, as you see, these seeds of euphorbias, they are perfectly dried out. So this is ready to be uh, separate, cleaned up, and packaged. This is another batch of a gasteria. As you see, they are very much dry out. You see? and the seeds are ready to be packaged. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna clean it up. This is called cleaning process. So you clean and you separate the seed from the cover and then you make a package out of it. But here you see, this is Cyphoestema seed, which is still wet. Some of them is dried, as you look here. Not completely, but it's been drying. But some of them are still wet. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna leave this one aside until completely dry. And now I did package some of these. So I'm going to go for final storage and packaging. In order to do that, you need two sides of the container, like this size which is two and a quarter, two and a half inch size on diameter with a cover, or you can package it in the manila envelope, which is like this, and you put a name on it, and you close it like this until whenever you want to use it. So, this is the last process of the harvesting. Now, we are going to go and start cleaning up some of these seeds to show you how, and then uh, we'll start packaging them. Now, this is the cactus seed, which is known as Pradia, Pradia cactus, which I'm gonna show you the picture of the plant and I'm trying to just get this seed to be cleaned off. So I'm gonna separate the top portion of it, which we don't need. And then this is the portion that generally has to have a seed. Don't be surprised if some of them are not having any seed in there or not much of the seed because that all has to do with the type of pollination. How well is it pollinated? But look at that. This is very nice and very generous. And I'm very happy with the amount of the seed in this particular one. I'm gonna show you a couple of more. Look at this one. separate it and open it up look at that it's very very good okay so as you see we have good amount of the seeds in every package, every flower, dry flower. Look at that. So we are going to package this in the container like that. Here I want to show you one of the seed pots. As you see, 
this end of it is actually attached to the plant and this end of it is the flower. When you pollinate it, then here is going to be the storage of the seed pot on the bottom. Don't be surprised if sometime the seed pot is empty. I want to show you right now that why and how does it look like and why it's empty. If it is not properly pollinated, look at this one, does have good amount of seed. As you see, but here, there is no seed. So it wasn't pollinated well. Only just through the process, it got bad and it didn't uh, uh, end up to have a good seed. So in every plant, you may have a few of these and uh, more of the one that has a good seed. And sometimes as you do more and more often and you do this process, you get more results and 100% you get a result on all of your cacti and succulent. Uh, here I want to show you the finishing product of those uh, seed pots. I'm going to take all the little pieces that is in there that is not need to be. As you see, there are black and brown. The black one will definitely grow and give you the new plant but the brown one are not gonna give you any results. So when you threw all these seeds or half of these seeds, some of them are not going to be germinated because they are not a good seed. The black ones are a good seed. So this particular one is finished and ready to be stored for propagation. Okay, everybody, you see, I already got all the seeds cleaned and packaged, and I uh, marked them with their names on it. So it's ready to be uh, planted for germination. If I do it quickly, it's fine, but if I wait another month, then it's gonna be a little bit too late because during the fall and winter, there is not much of the result, even though I have a greenhouse, sometimes it gets cold. So I try to germinate them as quick as possible. As you see, it wasn't that hard. I hope you like this video. If you do, please uh, subscribe to my channel like the channel and uh, leave me a comment. Ask me any question you want and I will definitely respond to you. Thank you so much for uh, viewing this particular uh, episode. Have a nice day. Thank you and goodbye.